Weapons are most simply and narrowly defined as devices used to destroy and incapacitate an enemy force, so they are used in wartime. But they are also used as preventive and repressive measures by police and military forces, can be used in hunting or while practicing shooting, in self-defense situations, and, unfortunately, they can be abused. Here is a list of the top 10 most dangerous military weapons in the world. Number 10. The AGNI Missile the Agni missile is a family of medium to intercontinental range ballistic missiles developed by India, named after one of the five elements of nature. Agni missiles are long-range, nuclear weapons-capable, surface-to-surface ballistic missiles. The first missile of the series, Agni I, was developed under the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program and tested in 1989. After its success, Agni missile program was separated from the GMDP upon realizing its strategic importance. It was designated as a special program in India's defense budget and provided adequate funds for subsequent development. As of November 2019, the missiles in the Agni series are being inducted into service. The family comprises the following. Agni 1, MRBM 702, 1,200 km, operational. Agni P, MRBM 1002, 2000 km, under development. Agni 2, MRBM 2002, 3500 km, operational. Agni 3, IRBM 3002, 5000 km, operational. Agni 4, IRBM 3502, 4000 km, operational. Agni 5, ICBM 5502, 8000 km, operational. Agni 6, ICBM 11002, 12,000 kilometers under development. Number 9. The Trident 2D5 SLBM. The UGM 133A Trident 2 or Trident D5 is a submarine launched ballistic missile built by Lockheed Martin Space in Sunnyvale, California, and deployed with the American and British navies. It was first deployed in March 1990 and remains in service. The Trident 2 strategic weapons system is an improved SLBM with greater accuracy, payload, and range than the earlier Trident C4. It is a key element of the U.S. strategic nuclear triad and strengthens U.S. strategic deterrence. The Trident II is considered to be a durable sea-based system capable of engaging many targets. It enhances the U.S. position in strategic arms negotiation with performance and payload flexibility that can accommodate active treaty initiatives. The Trident II's increased payload allows nuclear deterrence to be accomplished with fewer submarines, and its high accuracy, approaching that of land-based missiles, enables it to be used as a first strike weapon. Number 8. ICBM Intercontinental Ballistic Missile an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM is a ballistic missile with a minimum range of 5,000 kilometers primarily designed for nuclear weapons delivery. Conventional, chemical, and biological weapons can also be delivered with varying effectiveness, but have never been deployed on ICBMs. Most modern designs support multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle, allowing a single missile to carry several warheads, each of which can strike a different target. Russia, the United States, China, France, India, the United Kingdom, and North Korea are the only countries known to have operational ICBMs. Israel is believed to possess them as well. Early ICBMs had limited precision, which made them suitable for use only against the largest targets, such as City. Second and third generation designs dramatically improved accuracy to the point where even the smallest point targets can be successfully attacked. ICBMs are differentiated by having greater range and speed than other ballistic missiles. Number 7. Moab Mother of All Bombs The GBU-43 divided by B Massive Ordnance Air Blast MOA, Mother of All Bombs is a large yield bomb developed for the United States military by Albert L. Wymortz, JR, of the Air Force Research Laboratory. It was first tested in 2003. At the time of development, it was said to be the most powerful non-nuclear weapon in the American arsenal. The bomb is designed to be delivered by a C-130 Hercule, primarily the MC-130E Combat Talon I or MC-130H Combat Talon II variants. The MOAB was first deployed in combat in the 13th of April 2017 airstrike against an Islamic State, Khorasan Province Tunnel Complex in Achin District, Afghanistan. Number 6. Chemical Weapon, Chimera Virus 
A chimera or chimeric virus is a virus that contains genetic material derived from two or more distinct viruses. It is defined by the Center for Veterinary Biologics part of the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service as a new hybrid microorganism created by joining nucleic acid fragments from two or more different microorganisms in which each of at least two of the fragments contain essential genes necessary for replication. The term genetic chimera had already been defined to mean an individual organism whose body contains cell populations from different zygotes or an organism that developed from portions of different embryos. Chimeric flaviviruses have been created in an attempt to make novel live attenuated vaccines. Number 5. FOAB Father of All Bombs Aviation thermobaric bomb of increased power, nicknamed Father of All Bombs is a Russian design. Bomb delivered thermobaric weapon. The bomb is reportedly similar to the U.S. military's GBU-43 divided by B massive ordnance air blast which is often unofficially called mother of all bombs derived from its official military acronym MOA. This weapon would therefore be the most powerful conventional non-nuclear weapon in the world. However, the veracity of Russia's claims concerning the weapon's size and power have been questioned by U.S. defense analysts. FOAB was successfully field-tested in the late evening of the 11th of September 2007. The new weapon is to replace several smaller types of nuclear bombs in the Russian arsenal. Number 4. B-53 Nuclear Bomb the MK divided by B-53 was a high-yield bunker buster thermonuclear weapon developed by the United States during the Cold War. Deployed on Strategic Air Command bombers, the B-53, with a yield of 9 megatons, was the most powerful weapon in the U.S. nuclear arsenal after the last B-41 nuclear bombs were retired in 1976. The B-53 was the basis of the W-53 warhead carried by the Titan II missile, which was decommissioned in 1987, although not in active service for many years before 2010. 50 B-53s were retained during that time as part of the hedge portion of the enduring stockpile until its complete dismantling in 2011. The last B-53 was disassembled on the 25th of October 2011, a year ahead of schedule. With its retirement, the largest bomb currently in service in the U.S. nuclear arsenal is the B-83, with a maximum yield of 1.2 megatons. The B-53 was replaced in the bunker-busting role by the B-61 Mod 11. Number 3. Little Boy and Fat Man Little Boy was the code name for an atomic bomb dropped on the Japanese city of Hiroshima, killing approximately 220,000 people. Fat Man is the code name for an atomic bomb that detonated over Nagasaki, Japan. Fat Man and Little Boy released in the United Kingdom as Shadow Makers is a 1989 epic historical war film directed by Roland Joff who co-wrote the script with Bruce Robinson. The story follows the Manhattan Project, the secret allied endeavor to develop the first nuclear weapons during World War II. The film the film is named after Little Boy and Fat Man. The two bombs dropped on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki respectively. Number 2. Castle Bravo Castle Bravo was the first in a series of high-yield thermonuclear weapon design tests conducted by the United States at Bikini Atoll. Marshall Islands, as part of Operation Castle. Detonated on March 1, 1954, the device was the most powerful nuclear device detonated by the United States and its first lithium deuteride fueled thermonuclear weapon. Castle Bravo's yield was 15 megatons of TNT, 63 PJ, 2.5 times the predicted 6 megatons of TNT, 25 PJ, due to unforeseen additional reactions involving lithium-7, which led to the unexpected radioactive contamination of areas to the east of Bikini Atoll. At the time, it was the most powerful artificial explosion in history. Fallout, the heaviest of which was in the form of pulverized surface coral from the detonation, fell on residents of Ronjalap and Uteric Atolls, while the more particulate and gaseous fallout spread around the world. The inhabitants of the islands were not evacuated until three days later and suffered radiation sickness. 23 crew members of the Japanese fishing vessel Dago Fukuryu Maru, Lucky Dragon No. 5 were also contaminated by the heavy fallout, experiencing acute radiation syndrome. The blast incited international reaction over atmospheric thermonuclear testing. The Bravo crater is located at 11 deg 41 feet 50 inches and 165 deg 16 feet 19 inches e. The remains of the Castle Bravo Causeway are at 11 deg 42 feet 6 inches and 165 deg 17 feet 7 inches e. Number 1. Tsar Bomb the Tsar Bomba, Russian, Tsar Bomba, codename Ivan Urvania, also known by the alphanumerical designation AN-602, was a hydrogen aerial bomb, and the most powerful nuclear weapon ever created and tested. 
USSR Bomba was developed in the Soviet Union USSR by a group of nuclear physicists under the leadership of Igor Kurchatov, an academician of the Academy of Sciences of the Soviet Union. Tested on the 30th of October 1961, the scientific result of the test was the experimental verification of calculation principles and multi-stage thermonuclear charges. The bomb was dropped by parachute from a 295V aircraft and detonated autonomously 4,000 meters, 13 feet above the Cape Sukhoi Nasov, Severny Island, Novia Zemlya, 15 kilometers from Mitushika Bay, north of the Matichkin Strait. The detonation was intended to be secret, but was detected by United States States intelligence agents via a KC-135A aircraft operation Speedlight in the area at the time. A secret U.S. reconnaissance aircraft named Speedlight Alpha monitored the blast, coming close enough to have its anti-radiation paint scorched. The bang meter results and other data suggested the bomb yielded around 58 mount, which was the accepted yield in technical literature until 1991, when Soviet scientists revealed that their instruments indicated a yield of 50 mount. Thank you my friends. Support and subscribe friends.